Hey, welcome back into today's video. I watched the Breakfast Club interview with MGK last night and there was a part in the video that got so intensely emotional that I kind of got triggered. Um, his drug use and his approach to it, as well as his approach to telling all his uh, struggles to his daughter who is only nine years old. Now, I'm not criticizing the man's ability to be a father. That's not what I'm doing. It's just, I'll show you. Yeah, I, like, I mean, I gotta tell my truth. Do you take it serious now? I, like, you know, cause it could, you never know. Oh, my drug use? Yeah. You can tell that this is already a really hard topic for him. Now, it's no, it's no secret that he struggled with drug problems in the past. It's, it's always good to overcome these challenges, but the, the thing that really got me is what you're about to hear next. No, I, I, it's, I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I mean, you know, look, if I would have, if, if it was going to be a lesson learned, I, I might've learned it when it happened to Pete. You know what I'm saying? There's the, 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 the reality of situations is you can't, as a world, expect to break people down constantly. Now, what he's saying is that his drug abuse is an issue. It's, it's dangerous and yeah, it could kill him. He's saying that if it was a lesson that he was going to learn, he would have learned it when little peep died. This is referring to the more recent uh, passing of Mac Miller and other artists that have died in this way of just drug abuse. And he's saying that it's a lesson that he isn't going to learn. What's worse is the next thing that he says is all these emotions that he's experiencing, all these uh, thoughts that are in his head that push him towards the drug abuse. He, the way he, his outlet for it. <sighs> I expect them to want some type of escape. I, I don't have a mom I can call. I don't have a father I can call. I don't have my, you know what I'm saying? Like my, like my aunt, who was the last thing that I had is gone, right? I got a nine year old. I call and confide all my things. When Chester Bennington died and that tool. See, now that's, that's not good. Like. The emotional capacity of uh, young children in their still developing stages, this, this can so fundamentally impact them on such a negative level. Now, I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying anything about uh, how good or not of a father he is. I'm, I'm really not. I'm just concerned about why is he not why is he not seeking professional help? Because that's what he needs to do. He needs to seek professional help. Instead of putting all this on someone who is emotionally incapable of understanding to, to, to hold these pressures. And Charlemagne sees this, hears this, and you can tell from his reaction that he knows that this is not good. Poor, that was... You know what I'm saying? And, my, and, a, and, a, and a friend, a, a, a beautiful light in my life, like a soul that I love, and a, and, a, and, a, and a tour that after the most successful album we had come out was about to change our lives and all that was straight. I put that on a nine year old. Do you know what I'm saying? Why you not go to a therapist? See, Charlemagne's taken aback and he asks, Why did you not go to a therapist? And MGK's reaction is, He's. He has no idea. There, it, his reaction is telling me that not only did he not think about it, but I think he realizes he may have messed up when he said that. Like he might have said something that he shouldn't have. You weren't taught you in the streets. You weren't taught that that's okay. Yeah, neither was I. But eventually, uh, but got, I, I, yeah, I get yeah. it. I get. It. I haven't made that. I've been. I have. You know what? I've been See, trying to. I've been trying. He realizes that this is something that could potentially uh, get him in trouble. As a father, you're supposed to be, you're you're supposed to be a guide, 
to help your child, to, to prevent them from making such big mistakes and errors. Uh, but this confiding of, and I'm saying like, it's very good that he's close to his daughter. It really is like, that is wonderful. But to confide these, these sort of stresses into a nine year old is very bad. And I think that because his reaction now is like, oh, oh, I shouldn't have said that. I realize this could get me in trouble. And now he's uh, backpedaling and saying, wait a minute, the streets didn't teach us that and putting it more on himself. I, I hear what you're saying, but none of that is an excuse. And the reason I say that is because small people learn from their own mistakes. Why people learn from you, you, all, 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 The whole thing was to say, I'm sorry it was long, but the whole thing was to say, sometimes comfort from humans isn't enough. But you don't want to turn to drugs, especially when you see how I'm not, people look, I'm, I'm, because I'm, of drug use. And what I'm about people around you? Nobody around you is like... Absolutely, it's a huge issue. Man, and I talk, I talk, I here. talk... His, his whole approach, I feel like, is just wrong. Like... He just said comfort to humans is can be not enough. And then Charla, Charlemagne has realized that this is just not right. This this could be a fundamental error in his way of thinking that could potentially lead to his uh, digression. Charlemagne says you do not need to turn to drugs. And then he starts backpedaling and even stuttering, maybe realizing what he said. And it just seems to me like this is an issue. Now... The main thing, the main reason I wanted to make this video is because it's something that stuck out to me because I made the, the last video I made about uh, MGK versus Eminem to just open up a discussion about it. You guys had a lot to say. Uh, other than the fact that a lot of people are saying that me and MGK look similar, which I, I, don't, I don't see. I think I'm, I look more like a Tom Cruise or, a, or something like that, but... <laughs> It, this is a striking uh, issue to me because to confide in a nine-year-old is is all these issues. They do not have the emotional capacity to do this. And I really just wanted to make this video to open up another discussion in general. Uh, not just MGK and his daughter, but maybe people that you know in your life. Do you think that it's right that people adults confide in their young children all these serious life pressures and it might be okay like this is i i have no kids myself but this is this so this is what this is a learning experience for me as well it just doesn't feel or seem right to me but maybe you guys know more maybe you can uh, learn me something new but it just feels like it, it shouldn't be that way i think that the right way should be to go to seek pro professional help get a therapist that way you spare your daughter your son the that emotional trauma but as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and your responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up for those likes. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you in the next video. I mean, it just seems like if you're having, if you're having, struggling with drugs and, and things like that, and you have this beef going on with Eminem, saying that to a nine-year-old, Hey, I, I just, the conversation, I can't imagine it, but yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm literally not saying anything bad about MGK's ability to be a father or anyone else's ability to be a father. I'm just saying that sometimes professional, it's, it's okay to seek a therapist. It's okay to talk to a therapist. Doesn't mean you're crazy. It doesn't mean that you're any less. It means you're, you have strength and you're strong. So I know that you're repping. If you're not repping, you're great. And how do you become a member of the Rep Squad? All you gotta do is subscribe to notification, turn on, be in the comments after every single video because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat is going to be there and the rest of the Rep Squad community as well. And I expect to see you there too because this channel loves you. I need some coffee.